We just got a Glowforge and we'll show you why right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it below to make it? <laughs> Great, that's what we do on this channel every week. If you've been following us for a while, you know Garrett has wanted a laser for a long time. A big laser. A big for laser. For a very long time. He started with his starter laser a few videos ago, which was great, but it wasn't very safe. And it wasn't very powerful. And... Nope. But thanks to you guys <laughs> and all of your comments and your votes and sending her your projects that you've done with the Glowforge, we were able to convince Kim <laughs> of the value <laughs> of a Glowforge. We did some research. You guys were very helpful. Everybody that commented on our cheap laser video, very helpful. A lot of people reached out to us, gave us a lot of information. Yeah, very nice. And uh, we did some research on our own and made our decision. We got a Glowforge. This week, we're making our first project with the Glowforge. Then we're gonna tell you why we bought it and our thoughts after our first project. So we did the unboxing project where you made this cool little keychain. Very cute detailed. little guy. It did some scoring. Looks like it did some engraving. Did a cut, but we did nothing. We just opened the file, hit cut. Press this fancy little the button. The press magic the, button. Press the magic button. It says <laughs> it's a magic button. We did the test project. So now we're taking it to prod. <laughs> we're gonna do a full blown project project. First time, out of the box, of getting it dirty. Yeah, it came with a lot of materials, like a lot of materials, all types of different types of materials. Yeah, so this is, a, what is this? Walnut and leather, acrylic. And acrylic. And I think the rest of these are acrylic. acrylic and then this acrylic. hardboard. Oh, some kind of real, real wood. And a lot of hardboard. Plywood, that's plywood. Oh, plywood. <laughs> And a lot of this draft board. There's like four sheets of this draft board. But it looks expensive on the website. So we decided to make our first cut out of cardboard. So we're gonna do a mock-up out of cardboard just to make sure I got the sizing right. And we all have a bunch of leftover Amazon boxes. So we have plenty of material. Test materials, yeah. Plenty of test materials. Step one, we're gonna lay out a design in the Glowforge web app. It's pretty easy. It's a lot like the Cricut. Yep, it's just like Design Space, or very similar to Design Space. You can make your own image right in the web app, but you can only cut, score, and engrave. Test cut looks awesome. I look at the detail on the cardboard. You can see each little leaf. Oh, that's cool. So everything seems to line up. Looks a little small on the board though. A little small on the board. I think we're gonna need something up here. But yeah, otherwise, it's gonna need to say welcome or something up here. Otherwise, I think it looks good. What do you guys think? It's just a mock-up. Just a mock-up. Looks pretty good, huh? <laughs> All those layers of cardboard. Paint it, call it done. No. Step two. Now we're gonna make the magic happen. I think that's actually what the button says. I think so. <laughs> we're gonna use this medium draft board, and it comes with the QR code because it's proof grade materials. It comes with a QR code that lets the laser know exactly what you're putting under there. And it's got this great mask to it, so when you're done burning it, you can just peel the mask right off. Crisp, clean lines every time. I think this is only our first time. Look at that 
detail! I know it looks rough right now, but it's got that masking tape on it still. So we're gonna pull all that masking tape off. See what we got. Now this piece right here, it did an engrave, a score where the tail lights will be so I know where to paint it. And then a cut, and then I didn't have to move anything. I just hit make the magic. Step three! Whoa! Now we're gonna paint. And stain. And stain. We're gonna stain it around and paint our pieces. Paint all of our little pieces. Good thing they're scored so we know exactly where the flower ends. I like that. That's what Garrett's most excited about. I hope I can stay in the lines. I hope I can stay in the lines. <laughs> we're gonna use these cute little chalk paints by Chalked Up Paint. And let's do it. Step four. Now we're gonna assemble it. We're gonna use some E6000. We found the tiniest tube we could. <laughs> I have a big one, but I thought it would be messy. So I got the little one. And we're gonna glue all of our layers down. <laughs> It looks like summer. Bro, whoops. Oh no, not dry yet. Not dry yet. Wow, it's still slippity slidey. This stuff's gonna take forever to dry. <laughs> I'm telling you. Project's done though. If it doesn't slide off the board. We'll show you some final shots once it's dry. Now I'll tell you why we got the Glowforge. We have limited space in our craft room, so it needed to be a desktop size. We also wanted a really large engraving cutting area with a laser powerful enough to like cut through quarter inch MDF or whatever we figure out. Yeah, that's mostly is. what I think we'll use. So we think this will do it. It goes through one eighth inch like a butter. And then a big one for us was ease of use. We didn't want to have to learn a whole new tool. So this comes with the camera so you can see exactly where you're placing your design. It has autofocus. It allows for the 3D cut. It automatically identifies your proof grade materials from Glowforge. Um, having all those features are great. I don't have to do any of it. I don't have to learn how to focus a laser. It uses a web app. So the design interface is right on the web, which is like the Cricut used to be. But it's really simple to use. It really just a couple of lines, cut, score, engrave. You can see your image right on the actual material, so you know exactly where it's going to be placed on the material. And I just had to click a couple buttons and it was ready to go. And the big one for us was file formats. We wanted the regular file formats, JPEG, PNG, PDF. And a big one for us was SVGs. We have a thousand of them, so this was great. It, it accepts them, no problem. Comes in in the layers, just like it would on the Cricut. We also didn't want to be tethered to it. Again, we don't have a lot of room in our craft room, so we don't want to have to go over there with a laptop and, and try to connect. balance a laptop to connect to it. So this has Wi-Fi. We can connect to it anywhere in the house. Uh, you just gotta walk all the way to it and press the button to go when you're ready to go. Kind of like the Cricut with the C. Yeah, it is. It has all the safety features. Unlock the starter laser. <laughs> it has the UV lid. It has, what, the trip mechanism. So if you open the door, the project stops cutting. It's got the great ventilation. I mean, this thing is... Uh, yes, yes. Which actually makes it kind of loud, too. Uh, it really boosts that smoke out the window, but it's like a vacuum. It sounds like there's a Dyson going in here. Yeah, it's not too bad though. It's not too bad. Like no. a vacuum. It is, like a vacuum. So, yeah. a little loud, but workable. I think you can work in the room. Finally, the price. Yeah, we looked at a couple of other desktop lasers. Uh, the prices were in the similar range, a little more pricey when they came with the camera. Um, but, you know, we found a $500 off coupon. Yeah. So, that was really what tripped us over the edge. It was the camera being able to align it, the safety features, and that $500 coupon. 
Speaking of $500 coupon, <laughs> we're going to leave that same link down below. So if you guys go off and get your own Glowforge, you can save a little bit of money using our coupon down below. It's like 100 bucks on the base, 250 on the plus, and 500 on the pro. So, you know what I mean, that's what got me. So we really got it so that we could take this hobby to the next level. I'm hoping that we can start offering, with the use of this product or this tool, we can start offering kits in our store. I would love to put together some of these things that we do, just like this uh, welcome sign. Yes, there it is. <laughs> Offer these pieces in a kit, and all you have to do is paint and assemble. That's where the score marks really come in great. Like, I don't even have to know how to paint a flower. Yes. I just paint inside the lines. I did want to add that, so I'm not the best painter, but those score marks allowed you to paint like paint by number. I was able yeah. to paint around, and it was, it's perfect painting. Yeah, it's paint by number. It's exactly what it is. Except without the numbers, you kind of wing it on the paint colors. So if you like this video, go ahead and let me know. If you're gonna get a Glowforge, go ahead and let me know. <laughs> and if you've already made something with a laser, go ahead and show me. I'd really like to know. <laughs> <laughs> And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, tick that bell, because we do this every week. And you're probably still locked inside, so uh, you've got no choice but to maybe watch this video. <laughs> or this video. You've got no choice. I'll make them good. But you've got no choice. <laughs>